Good morning YouTube. Uh, it is Monday morning and I am going to film a video about the tachograph machine. Now quite a few people have asked me to film a video about this and I've kind of been a bit reluctant to film anything because I don't really understand the tachograph machine that much myself. Um, I only know how to use it basically to get me through my day's work and my week's work but people are still asking so here you go I'm going to film a basic instruction video on how to use your tachograph to get you through the day so first things first your tachograph card um, it has your picture on there on the front and I'm not going to show you my card because it has all my personal details on but the rule is when you put your card in the machine you put your thumb on your face so let me switch to the other camera so you've got your tachograph machine up here the number one and the number two are signifying um, whether there's one or two cards so this would be card number one which would go in this slot here this would be card number two which would go in this slot here so what we're going to do is we're going to hold the number one because we're going to put our card in number one and you can see that the slot's opened here so what we're going to do is we're going to put our thumb on our face on the card and then put it into the machine like that and now it's going to say welcome to me Roberts is my last name it's telling me when I last took my card out so I'm going to press OK rest until now yes because I haven't done any other work this weekend so I'm going to click yes and we're starting in the UK today I don't want to print out any of the information on there so I'm just going to click no and do I want to confirm everything so far yes so that's what I'm going to click so now we are ready to drive I'm not sure why my tachograph is showing driver number two when there's no card inserted in there I don't know if there's a setting to get rid of that but I'm not sure but anyway it's not affecting the day's work so I'm just going to ignore it so what it's showing me now is that I've had a rest of 62 hours and 17 minutes but now I've been on other work with the crossed hammers for one minute now so this is the time where I'm going to do my walk around check and I'm going to make sure that everything's okay with the vehicle before we move anywhere I'll check with you a little bit later when I've got some more data to show you just before I do anything else I've just thought um, this is showing me here how much driving time I have left so I have four and a half hours of driving time left before I will need a 45 minute break so that's what that's showing me there because that's the symbol for driving and then this is just showing me how many kilometers and so on I don't really need that and this is back on the main screen this is the screen that I like the most this is telling me that as well I have 45 uh, minutes break to have to keep my driving time if I do more than four and a half hours driving if that makes sense as I drive around this number will come down and when it gets to zero if I haven't had that 45 minute break by then I'm breaking the law so I'll explain a bit more later little update then so I have now done a few drops this morning and um, you can see here that I've been on other work now for 26 minutes that's while I've been loading and unloading and putting all the straps on and everything um, and I forgot to mention earlier when you're driving this is the screen that you can see when you're driving and it's just telling you how much driving time you have left I forgot if I mentioned that earlier but you can see now I've done a bit of driving this morning I've got three hours and 47 minutes driving left before I need to take a break under the tachograph uh, rules so you can see there anyway it's showing I've done 26 minutes of the work I'm just waiting for the gentleman here to sort out the paperwork for me and then I can get moving to the next place but this driving time here is not gonna count until I actually start moving so that's just gonna stay there 
you also you're not dealing with this number two button at all you don't mess with that at all unless there's a second driver you're only dealing with this buttons here and this slot here I'll catch up with you later another update then so I'm about to take my break now let's just have a look at what's going on I have two hours and 15 minutes left of driving according to the tachograph law and so far I've been on other work for one minute because I've just been parked up here um, about to film but when you want to put your tachograph on brake mode all you have to do is press the number one here for card number one and then you can cycle through the different modes you want so you've got driving other work or break time or rest so once I put it on there now this clock here will count down from 45 minutes um, it'll go 44 43 and so on all the way to zero and that tells me when my break is over uh, however if you prefer to know how long you've had for your break if you put it to the other screen then this will show you so far I've had zero hours and zero minutes but that will count up as time goes on um, I'm not working on here as the tachograph laws because I'll never drive four and a half hours before needing a break in a sense that I I'm following the working time directive so when I work when I start at six o'clock and I work for six hours I need to have a break before 12 o'clock under the working time directive law so I'm just following that on my own watch you can see there it's almost 12 o'clock so it's time for a break I'm gonna take 45 minutes here and then I'm gonna get on with the rest of the day I'll catch up with you later as you can see then I've had my 45 minute break we can see here um, and now if I go on to here you can see that my driving time has now reset I have four hours and 30 minutes left again um, of driving time and you can see there I've used all my break now it's gone to zero from 45 so they do recommend with these that you don't leave as soon as it says 45 or if you're taking a 15 minute or a 30 minute just leave it a few minutes over let it go to 47 or 48 or something just to make sure in case the timing there um, is uh, different so you don't you don't want to take a chance so give it a couple of minutes over so when this says about 48 I'll carry on to my next destination and uh, carry on with my day right then so now I have finished for the day uh, you can see there I still have three hours and five minutes of driving time left should I have needed it um, and you can see there so far I've done three minutes of other work which is just while I've been doing my timesheet and things um, I wanted to show you how you would do a printout because in the situation where you may be stuck in traffic and you may need to do a printout and write on the back why you've gone over your driving time all you do is just press OK and then you'd press print and then you can choose whether you would print 24 hours of the card 24 hours of the vehicle just the events or technical data whatever but for you if that was the case um, you would just print your 24 hour card and then that would be where you'd write on the back to say that you went over your driving time because there was an accident on the M6 and you, there's nowhere that you could stop for a break. So yeah, that's how you do that. Anyway, to get your card out, all you do is hold the slot that it's in, which is number one. The end country is the UK and then it ejects the card and you're all done. Ta -da! There you go job done for another day there you go then that's your tachograph tutorial video um, as I say I'm not the expert on this machine I know enough to get me through the day and get me through the week 
but I'm not an expert in all of the other settings on there and how to do manual entries and all kinds of of complicated stuff. I just know enough to get me through the day and hopefully that's enough to get you through your first day um, if you had no idea how to use this machine. But anyway, if you like my video then you can give me a thumbs up and if you want to keep up with me then you can subscribe and um, I would be pleased to have you joining me on my journey of HGV driving. Anyway, until the next video I will say goodbye and I will see you in the next one.